Hello friends, this is Rupesh and I'm watching CBB Nuts video series on algorithms. And this video is about a little difference between brute force and greedy approach of solving any problem. And I was just going through some internet and uh, some stack overflow, I guess. And I found that people are still confused with what is the brute force and greedy approach. And what the thing is, they are mostly equal, but as their name is little different, there should be a small difference. But no, actually they are totally different approaches. And what I think is they don't overlap each other. So there is no common in between these two. What common maybe would be that they both don't perform so well. Other than that, there is no common. So let's go to the brute force first. So it solves a problem in a more simple, direct or obvious way. We know this, it is a, a first thing somebody would think if some problem is given to them. And as a result, such an algorithm can take far more time than a more clever algorithm might do. We know that. Brute force is a basic thing to implement. And on the other hand, we have greedy, which is entirely different. So a greedy algorithm is one of that make the sequence of decisions in some order. We don't care. Such that once a given decision has been made, that decision is never reconsidered. I'll have a good example for this and this both. So don't worry if you don't understand much of this. So the example is, let's suppose you have a circuit board here and you want to place these components. So I'll name these component with, uh, uh, so this is one, two, and we have three here. And maybe there is very big component, which is uh, maybe four. Okay. So you want to place these components on this circuit board. So, and yeah, it should be optimized so that you have enough room to place more component. So this is the problem. And if you use the greedy approach, this greedy approach, what it will do, it will just try to fit all these components. And once they are fit, it won't take care about the optimization. What I mean is, let's suppose greedy approach started and it started placing this four like this. Now this four, okay, I'll choose a different color. So this is our four, which is a bigger component and we have maybe two here and three here and let's suppose one is somewhere here so you can rotate these component no problem okay so if greedy approach is working it can do something like this and it won't look for the optimal solution because it is greedy the name is greedy it will do its job greedy we have to tell them okay i want to fit these components and on this circuit board and it will just do this and once it will find okay I can place all these components and it will be done like it won't look for the optimal placement and on the other hand brute force let's suppose we have the same circuit board what this brute force might do it will try to fit in such a way that it is very much optimized so this could be the way right so now if you see we are having this much big room to place other components. But here, now you have this small room, this small room and this small room. So if you say this is like a two by two, two by two, and maybe let's suppose this is also two by two. So, but here, maybe it is like four by six. So another bigger component like four can easily fit here, correct? But that's not the case with the greedy. It just ended when it found that, okay, I can place all these components on this circuit and I'm done. But brute force can find the optimal solution. What brute force will do, it will work iteratively and it will find all the possible ways you can place these components on this circuit and it will then compare the laws. Actually, this is a minimization problem. So, so when you will start with this circuit uh, empty, it will have uh, maybe let's suppose 100% loss and then you will start calculating the loss and that loss will have some formula like why you are calculating that loss and how you are calculating. So what I mean is this is less loss and this is very big loss and that formula will tell you that okay, this is not a good approach whereas you can have this and this is less loss, more gain. So let's suppose in, 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 in maybe thousands of iterations were possible to place these components on circuit and out of those thousands, maybe, uh, maybe 736 number was the best placement and then it will choose this one and brute force will take so much time, but it will give you the optimal solution 
but greedy greedy is like maybe you had given uh, 100 iterations to find that okay how to place it and maybe it found that we can place it maybe in third or fourth iteration only and it will not go for fifth or sixth or maybe any further no it will stop at three only if it found that okay i can place in any way so the whole concept is there is no optimization in greedy and we do have optimization in brute force whereas it takes so much of time so if it is brute force technique you will just go in four loops and all but there are more advanced ways maybe simulated annealing that would do good and there are thousands of different parameters which actually play the role why you will place four like here and one two three like this so i have tried to simplify this problem as much as possible and i think we are good here now so thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next videos bye bye take care